Are you cleaning out your closet, but you're confused on what to keep and what to toss? Well, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 quick rules for what to keep and what to toss in your wardrobe. So let's dive right in. Hello, fashionista. I'm Nancy Queen, and I'm here to help you create a closet full of clothes you love to wear so you love getting dressed every single day. And today we're talking about spring cleaning, wardrobe cleanup, and what to keep, what to toss. In fact, Maureen Rose just sent me this question. She said, I love your creativity. I do organize my closet by category, but I get stuck on what to keep versus what to toss. I start my project, then quickly become overwhelmed, and of course, I stop. Too many emotions attached to clothing. Thank you for another great video. So I've got 10 diehard rules that I follow that will help you take the overwhelm away from going through your closet. And it's something that you can do every three months, every six months on a regular basis to keep your closet fresh so that you're only keeping clothes in your closet that you actually wear and that you love to wear. Now, a lot of people think that I have this huge closet. Guess what? My husband and I downsized a few years ago. We used to have a four bedroom house. We got rid of a lot of stuff. And now we are in an apartment I actually share a closet with my husband. All of my clothes fit in my closet without any problem. Here's my closet. You can look and see how I have things organized. And that's my whole closet. I don't have a ton of clothes, but what I do is I keep my closet sorted and organized and I only keep things that I love wearing. Before we get into the tips, I'm gonna give you some simple rules to follow before you do your clothing organization. The first thing you wanna do when you're starting to organize your closet is that you wanna be sure that you have time to go through all of your clothes. You don't wanna start this process and then decide, oh, I'm halfway through, you have clothes all over the bed, and then it's a big nightmare and it's overwhelming. So set aside an afternoon where you're just gonna go through everything. You're going to be making a decision on every single piece, whether you're gonna keep it, donate it, get it repaired, whatever. You're gonna decide on every single thing. Just know that the first few garments you go through are gonna be hard. The more you go through it and the more you do this exercise, the easier it gets, I promise. And we're gonna to try to do this all in one day. You can do it. These are my rules for cleaning out your closet and knowing what to keep and what to toss. Question number one is, have I worn this garment in the past year? If you have not worn the garment in over a year, get rid of it. It's not serving any purpose. It's cluttering your closet full of stuff you don't need. Put it in the toss or donate pile. We're just going to take those clothes right now and put them aside in toss or donate. Question number two is, does this garment fit me today? So I know sometimes we lose weight, we gain weight, we're trying new diets, we're buying clothes with the hopes that we're going to lose weight. However, you want to only keep clothes in your closet that fit you today. There's nothing more depressing than opening up your closet and seeing something that you can't wear, that doesn't fit you or that's too big or too small. Only keep clothes around that you can wear today. Question number three is, does this garment fit your lifestyle, your current lifestyle? I know many of us have had careers and then became stay-at-home moms or we're stay-at-home moms and then we go back into the work world or we're a college student and then boom, we're in the work world. Your lifestyle will change throughout your life many, many times. However, I see a lot of people holding on to clothes thinking, well, if I ever get back into the corporate world, I have these suits. Well, if you've been out of the corporate world for 15 years and you decide you're going to go back into it, they dress a lot differently. Those power suits that you might've had aren't gonna work anymore. So you're going to want to get some new pieces. And I recommend do not keep any clothes that don't fit your current lifestyle. Question number four I have for you, is the garment in good condition? You might have clothes in your closet with stains, rips, broken zippers that may need to be hemmed or dry cleaned. Get those out of your closet because every time you see them, you're thinking, oh, I failed, I need to get rid of that, or I, I, may, I keep meaning to have that tailored. 
take those items out of your closet. They are in the get repaired or toss pile. Okay, number five is a big one. Can this garment be worn with anything else in my wardrobe? I find this happens a lot, especially when you're out shopping with friends or you're scrolling Instagram and you see a really cute top on someone and you think, oh, I need to get that but then you buy it and it's not your style. It's just not something you'd ever wear and it doesn't go with anything else in your closet because it's just not part of your color palette. And if it doesn't go with at least three other items in your wardrobe, get rid of it. It's not serving you any purpose. In fact, if you wanna learn more about how to make that happen, check out my video, how to build a capsule wardrobe, because that explains how to buy clothes that will mix and match together so that you're buying key pieces that work with everything else in your closet. Okay, number six, a really big one as well. <laughs> These are all very helpful. Do I feel good in this garment? So when you are cleaning out your closet, be prepared to try on clothes. Put it on. Is this an item that every time you wear it, you feel like, oh, it makes my hips feel too big or it doesn't fit me across the bust line and it gaps here, or, you know, or it just is not you. Get rid of it. It is not serving you any purpose to have something in your closet, even though you spent a lot of money on it, get rid of it. Number seven is, are you keeping this garment for sentimental reasons? This is something we all fall prey to. Maybe you had a special event that you went to that was really important, or you know, it might be a dress that you uh, were wearing the last time you were with your parents or with a boyfriend or for a prom or anything like that. You're keeping it around just because of the meaning that it had, but it's not serving your wardrobe any purpose. It's just taking up space, taking a valuable space in maybe a small closet that is not helping you. So what you wanna do is you wanna take those items out, put them on if you can, take a photo of them or lay them out on your bed, take photos of them. You can create a memory book of all of these garments that you love. And I promise you, you will not even realize that those things are missing from your wardrobe. I know that we love to look back on them, but you'll have pictures. As Marie Kondo, the organizing queen says, thank that garment for the memory and experience experience it gave you, but you're living your closet for today and you want to be able to keep things in your closet that you can wear today. Number eight, does this garment still have tags on it? We buy things, we never take off the tags, they hang in our closets for years. If it is still in your closet after six months and it has the tags on it, there's something wrong. There's some reason why you don't like it. It could be the color, the cut, somebody else talked you into buying it. Time to put that in the toss pile. Number nine, is this garment in style? If you're keeping garments thinking, oh, my kids are gonna love this. This is gonna be um, outfits we wore in the 20s. They're not, they're not gonna want them. And even if they are, imagine that's gonna be a good 20 years until they want that. Do you really wanna keep 20 years of clothing in this valuable real estate? Don't keep anything that is not still in style thinking it's gonna come back. If a style does come back, it always changes a little. There's always a little bit different variation to the cut or you know, the colors might seem a little off. So don't keep things that you think are gonna come back in style. Again, you're giving up valuable real estate for something that you may or may not wear in 20 years. And number 10, is this garment a bridesmaid's dress or a prom dress? When you go through the prom and bridal phase of your life where you are just kind of hoarding these gowns and when you buy them, they tell you, oh, you can wear this again for another event. You could cut it off to cocktail length and wear it to other parties. You won't. A bridesmaid's dress or a prom dress always looks like a bridesmaid's or a prom dress. So take those out of your closet. You can be rid of them. You're never gonna wear them again. It will free up so much space in your closet. So that is your what to keep, what to toss pile. You're gonna free yourself. Yes, this is more things that you're gonna be tossing, but you are gonna free up so much space and fill your closet full of things that you love to wear you will actually feel like you have a whole new wardrobe just by cleaning out 
so many things that you don't wear because now you will only open your closet and see the clothes that you love, that you look good in, and you love to wear. This works, I promise, and I will see you in the next video.